en route to the driver's briefing with uh, Uber Girolami uh, and, and of course Kaili. Yes. Girls jumping. Yeah. It's the typical Latin no. attitude. I am <laughs> Arriving at the paddock. And check out our beatbox with the two beauties. That's one. And that's number two. Okay guys, we're now inside the museum, the Maserati Museum in Mulhouse. Mamma mia, what a collection of cars all together. Yeah, just leaving uh, the Bugatti Museum. Wow, unbelievable cars here. Uh, not for sale. Uh, cars which are only four or five on uh, planet Earth. And the last one sold for 50 million. So yeah, there must be some very unique ones. Hey, Tassi boy, what's happening here, man? Check out, autograph session in the middle of uh, Mulhouse. Ah, family Müller is there. Here they are, the big boss. 45 minute delay. Sorry, sorry boy, sorry boy, but you kept them busy. you are always on time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm there, I stay 45 minutes longer. <laughs> Check out, yeah, yeah, Dutch fans. All the way from Holland to see Tommy here racing. Everybody signing, busy, yep, work on Friday. Yeah, and uh, here in the middle of the village, we'll also take a big picture with the trophy, with the Cathedral. Yes, yes, my teammate Berton, famous here in France, of course. But now it's a photo session because the photographers are waiting. Yep, it's done. Going to sleep. See you tomorrow. Welcome in Anno Dure in France. First uh, free practice uh, done. Sorry boys, a little bit of gravel. We just had a spin in the last lap. P7, not too bad, but it was not easy boys. Let's see. Seven. You bring your middle sector on your second lap. Yeah, wow, that was a good qualification. 800 from P5, very close. One tenth behind my fastest teammate. So no, we have a good swing. We didn't make any mistakes. Maybe I should have taken a little bit more risk, but uh, you know the car feels strong and uh, it feels okay. P7 is for both races. A good starting position. Very happy.
starting from P7. A uh, reasonable uh, good uh, qualification in the middle of the fast boys. Um, yeah, I think the goal is to uh, score, of course, good points, but the top five finish would be really, really nice. Difficult to overtake, but full attack. Yeah, I think it was a very exciting race. I had some uh, difficulty beginning of the race. I could easily follow, but at the end of the race, I had a small coming together with uh, Ascona. And as you can see, the intake, if you look at the bottom, this part is completely bent. So that means you don't get cooling in the intercooler and no filling in the engine. So I had no top speed anymore. So I lost too much speed. You could see I couldn't follow anymore. That was it, a little problem, but still happy. Yeah, and my buddy won. Berto won the race. Hoppa, well done, boy. Well done. There they go. <laughs> Just uh, getting prepared for race two from P7, but check out this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're the fans all the way from the Netherlands. Getting ready for the race. Kick ass, guys. Since the green light came much too late and I was already in the limiter, so it was complete shit the procedure. Okay guys, uh, this is it. Yeah, we had some uh, big damage. As you see, the guys are already repairing. The complete uh, left front is off the car. Everything broken. Here are the parts. As you can see, it's the way it is. Some big misunderstanding with Correri. <laughs> In two corners before the end. <laughs> Completely useless. Sometimes this happens. See you in the next race.